गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू इन योर फिजिक्स क्लास टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद आवर लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ मॉडर्न फिजिक्स दैट इज सेमी कंडक्टर्स एंड डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स नाउ वॉट डू यू मीन बाय सेमी कंडक्टर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस रीड अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड मीन्स वॉट आर सॉलिड्स एंड वॉट आर दर टाइप्स वी नो सॉलिड्स इन सॉलिड्स द पार्टिकल्स कॉन्स्टेंट पार्टिकल्स आर टाइटली पैक ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट द पार्टिकल अरेंजमेंट देयर आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स क्रिस्टलाइन एंड अमोरफस वेन यू टॉक अबाउट क्रिस्टलाइन सॉलिड हियर ऑल द पार्टिकल आर अरेंज इन अ रेगुलर फैशन सो द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइन सॉलिड आर सोडियम क्लोराइड डायमंड एंड शुगर वेयर एज Amorphous solid examples are glass, rubber, and plastic. Now, we should also know that amorphous solids are isotopic. What do we mean by isotopic? Isotopic are those whose physical properties remain constant when we see through different directions. Now, what are the physical properties? Physical properties can include electrical conductance. It will include the Uh, refractive index so these are constant in all the directions because the solids particles are irregularly arranged now on the basis of conductivity uh, we have another category of uh, metals on the basis of conductivity first one we have seen on the basis of arrangement now we are seeing that on, uh, when we talk about the conductivity so what are their types so here first is the conductors second is insulators and the third one is semiconductors now what are these three so first let us talk about conductors which can conduct the electricity have the free ions like all the metals insulators which have no have free ions and cannot conduct electricity wood rubber and mica third is semiconductors like germanium silicon and carbon which lie in group 13 group 14 and group 15 these three groups constitute the semiconductor elements now let us talk about the another important concept that is the concept of energy bands in the solids so there are four types of energy bands we have to discuss first we will talk about energy band second we will talk about valence band third we will talk about conduction band and fourth we will talk about forbidden band so first of all let us introduce ourselves to energy band so we know that in a metal crystal we have uh, because all the atoms are tightly packed we have the common sharing of electrons and these electrons shared are between the atoms so because of these common sharing of electrons we have the splitting of the valence band or we can say the energy band and because of splitting of these energy bands uh please note that this valence band and this valence band are not similar so because of this splitting of the valence band or so called energy band in which the electrons are present we have a common we have a common uh, valence band now for all the atoms means now the splitting of valence band will take place and these are together means now these are all together they are all common and now these are called as energy bands now further on we when we talk about energy band we have valence band and conduction band so what are valence band these are those energy bands only where we have valence electrons means the electrons in the ground state are present in valence band conduction band when we have electron excitation means we provide energy so that time these electrons can move to this higher level these are the conduction band what is a forbidden band so it is actually the band between the valence band and the conduction band suppose i have here because my valence band will be down as the electrons are in ground state and here is my conduction band so the gap between them both this is not uh, this is not the gb it is actually cb because it is conduction band so the gap between valence band and the conduction band will be known as energy gap and this is denoted by eg so this is a forbidden band 
एन ई जी इज द एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर बाय द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू जम्प फ्रॉम वैलेंस बैंड टू द कंडक्शन बैंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन द एनर्जी बैंड्स सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एनर्जी बैंड वी हैव थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन फर्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन इज कंडक्टर्स नाउ वॉट आर कंडक्टर क्लासिफिकेशन हियर वी कैन सी दैट द वैलेंस बैंड दिस इज माई वैलेंस बैंड एंड दिस इज माई कंडक्शन बैंड दीज आर ओवर लैपिंग मीन्स इफ दिस इज माई वैलेंस बैंड एंड सो माई कंडक्शन बैंड विल बी ओवर हियर मीन्स दीज आर एक्चुअली ओवर लैपिंग so these are you can see there there is a overlap place also in between the, these both so if this is my valence band and this is my conduction band we can see that the overlapping is there so we can say that the electrons which are present over in the valence band can easily come into the conduction band 